It's like I told you, Janet, we're working with scum. I'm sorry, Sharon, but I refuse to believe it was one of our colleagues who did this. They're decent, hard-working... Well, decent people. Oh, don't be so naive. Whoever wrote that knows the workforce well. They might just have a general contempt for other people. Yes, well, that's understandable. But it doesn't stop it being an inside job. Well, the police should be here soon, so there's no need for you to storm about like Miss Marple. Not that she exactly stormed anywhere. I doubt her hips were up to it. I don't know why you had to get the filth involved. This is my patch. I am the rule of law here. Judge, jury and, unfortunately, not executioner. But if... Oh. Wrong room. I... I thought this was accounts. Three floors up. Mine's so full of work. Anyway, I'll just be... Uh... Not so fast. Have you any idea who did that? Ooh, uh, no, sorry. Really? Yeah, on both counts. Really sorry and really no idea. Really? Oh, this! I walked into a door of all the clichéd explanations. Doof. Ow! Do we believe him, Janet? I suppose it's possible. I had an arm too as it was walking into things. Her face was permanently bruised. My father had her husband arrested, suspected abuse. Bastard. He was worried about his sister. Oh, God, no, not your father. I've never met the man. I mean, your auntie's husband... Well, I've never met him either, but if he was smacking her around, I mean... He wasn't, as it transpired. Poor Bee had a cerebral aneurysm, affecting her balance. Shit. Maybe I've got one of them. She really was walking into doors. The fridge. Their barometer, more often than not. Her husband fell for the officer who arrested him. They set up home together with an Afghan hound. Janet, is this trivia in any way relevant? Sorry. Look me in the eye, you needn't use your bruised one, and tell me you didn't do that. I didn't do it. In the eye? I didn't do it. Yes. Well, I can't actually tell if you're lying or not. That's how I've ended up with the staff I have. Are you good at your job? I ask them in their interview. Oh, yes. And then their performance tells a different story. Ah, well, here's a good tip. Often when people lie, they put their hand over their mouth like this. Are you lying now? No. No. Oh, yeah, I might, uh... And I said to him, that's why you should never play hip-hop to an Alsatian. <laughs> oh, come on, missus, come on. Oh, don't let it get to you. This robbery's really shook her up. Nothing was actually stolen. Yeah, it was. I told you, Janet. Scum. What exactly did they take? You won't believe it. They might do, Sally. You try them. It's not that it's unbelievable. It's just, you know, bloody typical. Those vandals, they've only got a nicked our designs for the promotional brochure. Oh, no. <laughs> what kind of bastard would stoop so low? She's gutted. Oh, well, have one of them. For the shock. Well... I'm afraid it all sounds highly suspect to me. What are you suggesting, Sharon? That we thought result? The place has been vandalised, let's cash in. Nice excuse to sky. That's about the size of it, yes. Oh. Well, we didn't. I'll tell security you won't be working late after all. You'll never catch up now. No, we're going to a party. We've just decided. Oh, yes, to... Um dance our woes away. Someone broke into this building last night and caused damage the like of which I have never seen before. The like of which I have seen once before. It was probably just kids. Yes, it must have been. Children are bewitched by bright colours. And we don't need to break in. We've got our swipe cards. Which identify who you are. Except they don't. Not since you let Vikram go. I show up as Pol Pot. Petty little man. 
I think Petty somewhat limp for the leader of the Khmer Rouge. Vikram. Abusing his role as IT coordinator to download filth. Quite miss his emails. Hello, hello, hello. Another likely suspect. Yeah. Um, the Pope have arrived, Jan. Good. They've called the police. Shit. But Len's giving them grief about not having a pass. Oh, no. I'd better get along there. Yeah, because they're threatening to cuff him for using abusive language. And the police are our only hope of solving this awful crime? She's living in a dream world. It's like I have always said, people are bastards. They cannot be trusted. They will smile to your face while they stab you in the back. But if your reactions are good, yeah, you're like... <laughs> blocked. Can't get you. If anyone is going to crack this case, it'll be me. And I've got my eye on each and every one of you. No, you haven't. No, you have. No, you haven't. Metaphorically! <gasps> Sally, we have got to get the police off our trail. And the only way we can do that is... to find the real culprit. It was kids. Why would kids steal our designs? Annie, there were no designs to steal. We haven't done them. Oh, yeah. But I can't help wondering if Sharon wasn't right. And we do have a backstabber in our midst. <coughs> I mean, the morning after the building's vandalised, he rolls in with a black eye. You telling me that's a coincidence? I walked into a door. Jesus, the cynicism in this place. I had nothing to do with it. I was in the pub all night, with Ben, from the post room. He was. Me and Lucy saw them leaving. Well, Lucy saw them. I just saw the wall of the car park. She did wave, you know, Rob. Did she? That's nice. Hmm. Time for a new angle. Let's see if this window yields more clues. Hang on. Um, Sal. Hmm? You know Ben split up with his girlfriend? Yeah. Well, it's a bit embarrassing, really, but uh, I think he's developed quite a thing for me. No, he hasn't. You didn't see him last night, making cow eyes at me all the time. He looks at everyone like that. He won't wear his glasses. No, he's smitten. I saw this policey type show the other night, yeah, with a setup just like this. Someone smashed a window? No, a woman had been murdered in the back of a van, but no one knew who did it. And there were loads of suspects just like now. Two of them were none, so that's less like now. How is this helping? Well, the police found some of that DNA stuff on the gear stick and that coconutty tree thing and matched it with one of the suspects. Aha! Uh -huh. So, there could be some DNA on here. Now that's ham. I think Ben might be a little bit in love with me. Probably in torment over it. Robin, don't take this the wrong way, but Ben's a good-looking fella. He could have his pick. Is there a right way to take that? I just don't think you should build ropes up. I'm not saying I want him to fancy me. God, no. Blah. I'm just saying I think he does. Tell him that, did you? Why I blacked your eye? I walked into a door. I know he likes my ties. He said so. All right, Baza. Yes. Great. Splendid even. Making fine progress with the quasi. Uh, no. No, with solving this. Oh, not you as well, Barry. Everyone's gone vandalised mainly... Vanda main... Van men... I'm trying to make up a word that means everyone's gone mad over the vandalism. Vanda crackers? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now. I've made my point. Anyway, I've made a list of the most likely suspects. People I've always thought looked shifty and, uh, 
I'm checking them off to see if they've got a decent alibi. Well, what have you got so far? Well, little Tina Swanson. <gasps> Didn't do it. Uh, she couldn't reach up to write that. Or even that. Chris Barrett. Didn't do it. He's a Buddhist. Probably thinks the ghost of the broken window would ooh, come back to haunt him. Might you be confusing Buddhism with insanity? Easily done. Batuli Bim Kubwi. Didn't do it. Look, never mind all the people who didn't do it. Have you got any closer to finding out who did? Um, no. Black Eye. I walked into a door. Any witnesses? Nope. The door? But I do have a witness that I was in the nags all night. Ben, from the post room? Hmm. Cross you off, then. This is the sort of grin we'll get from the police. Oh, have a word. I know they're a bunch of wankers, but they're not that incompetent. That's just wrong, Barry. You put Rob down as looking shifty. A fellow smoker, a comrade. No, he was on the bit dodgy list. Oh, OK. We'll never get away with this, Sally. Do you think they'll be armed? They might strip search us. Look, stay calm. 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 We'll have to get upstairs right now. Start work on those designs. Tell Janet we only mislaid them. And spend all weekend here finishing them off. What's the alternative, Sally? Going to that party. No. Letting the police take us in for questioning. Bamboozle us with a, a good cop, bad cop routine. One of them saying how nice our hair and our bras look. The other one shouting, Fess up, bitches. We know you trashed the joint. And we take the rap for a crime we didn't do. Go down for a five stretch. Some burly lesbian in chokey takes a shine to us, sexually degrades us, with cutlery. Are you prepared for that, Sally? Are you? Because only some of that scenario appeals to me. It won't come to that. And if it does, we'll just leg it. I am not missing that party. I'm going to come clean. Fine, Janet. Annie, you might be scared of the old Bill, but if you tell Janet, you'll have me to deal with. I took this job on because I like designing posters. Not to get dragged into your sordid world of crime. I'll be committing another crime in a minute, Mrs. GBH. Annie, get back here. Annie! Oh, is that it? Case closed. It was them. No, they're just using it as an excuse to DOS. Good. Uh, not that I approve, but uh, they weren't on my list of suspects. Unlike me. And I'd love to know what makes you think you're going to crack the case, Barry. You can't even solve a crossword. Ha! <laughs> well, uh, abandoning the shifty list. Yeah, and the dodgy one. Hmm. Uh, let's ask. Who had the strongest motive for doing all the damage? I wouldn't do anything to jeopardise this place. We must be one of the few companies left that still has a smoking room. And I'm the one that's got to sort this mess. Seen. Wools me out. Or does it? We all know there's been talk of cutbacks. Has there? Are you worried that they might lay you off? Nah. Were you deliberately making work for yourself to prove how much they need you? Maybe I was. Subconscious. Uh, hang on, I didn't do it. Are you sure? If I can just restore some much-needed sanity to the proceedings. Apart from the fact that Clint has the perfect alibi, he was in the nags with Lucy Wu all evening, well, in the car park, Clint isn't a glazer. They're going to need to get someone in. Get round that. Smashing the window would only serve to highlight his shortcomings. Shortcomings? Is he angry about not being a glazer? Hmm? Angry enough to smash a window. Glazing's for losers. Touched a nerve. Is this the broken window? Yeah, it is. <laughs>